good to go. Now we're going. Okay, so Roy and Pokemon Trainer. Yeah, Roy's a Roy's, Roy's a character I sort of missed seeing over this weekend with uh, with Cola going mainly Cloud over the course of the weekend. So it's nice to see a Roy back in the mix here. Yeah. Pokemon Trainer, of course, a character that's probably uh, you know a lot of us probably miss for the most part. This character has not been very much in the public spotlight as much as as usual. So it's nice to see some good Pokemon Trainer gameplay. Yeah, um, I'm not familiar with Suit. This is the first time seeing him. Um, other Pokemon trainers in the area, uh, of course, Pepe, um, top three player in the state. Uh, around here, more locally, uh, we have um, fellow caster Zard King 8U. We have Distinct Madness, uh, GMU Zone, Mint Chocolate. So um, definitely looking forward to see what Suit can do using uh, the versatility of the character of the different Pokemon to space out Roy. And uh, like you were saying earlier, like we only saw um, one game of Roy, I think, at least for all top eight for Cola. But um, we'll yeah. see. Um, what main looming in here with edge guarding so far, but relatively even gang as we're finally seeing the switch to Ivysaur. Ooh, almost catches him with a down air there. That, uh, every I thought that, that Razor Leaf was honestly going to get him. I was like, nah, nah, he, make it back. he was right there in a position where he needed to go, but uh, main looming catching the drift, get, getting it right to ledge. And there's going to, yep. ooh, yep, that was really good nice catch setup. there with the, ups, with the up air now. But main looming answering right back in between switches and Every, using every bit of the iframes, and we're back to square one. Yeah, one jab is all it takes for Roy just to get the uh, the classic jare, I believe is what they refer to it in the business as. But, uh, yeah, really good stuff. It's, it really has been an even game so far. They've just been kind of trading hits back and forth. I mean, Ivysaur staying out pretty much for the majority of the time here. Uh, getting a lot of good uh, good openings here with those grabs. It's a nice little up air conversion. Ivysaur definitely can be racking up. Both of these characters can honestly be racking up damage super fast. So I mean, like it's no surprise that they're just trading hits like this. Yeah, first stock was like even even split between Squirtle and Ivysaur, and I'm not surprised that Ivysaur's out for the most part here, um, just because of the range and um, the strong hits out of all three. Like not that Charizard and Squirtle can do any different, but Ivysaur just kind of more of like the uh, you have like the like a like like three degrees like um not necessarily small medium large but like fast faster fastest that kind of thing like in terms of like movement speed and movement or um choice of movement direction whatnot um but um charges are not going to be out that much uh main will main taking another stock yeah, sort of forced to go into the Charizard there after, you know, trying to trying to recover, trying to get Charizard's extra jump there. But unfortunately, Charizard hates sorties, so it's going to completely just explode to Roy's side, be up the side there. But, yeah, Ivysaur proving to be the uh, pivotal Pokemon in this matchup. Just, uh, you know, doing doing zoning, a lot of zoning things, keeping distance. Um, but still struggling to find a KO here. Kind of letting Roy live is never a good sign. Yeah, but Nice uh, parry nice and parry back throw, the though. That'll do it. Yeah, that'll definitely do it. Yeah. But, uh, you Ivy know. Stroll with the uh, strongest throws of the three, yeah. um, narrowly beating out Charizard. Yeah, but still that that back throw by that ledge, it it killed him. Yeah, so it will be strong. Yeah, Soup Soup trying to get in a little bit more, but Nang trying to hold on to his lead. Yeah, these jabs with the ledger are obviously very scary. Just uh, still looking for an opening here. We've seen Ivy Stroll been able to rack up so much damage off of these grabs and these forward airs just being able to send up into the up airs. They're so strong. It's going to be so careful not to get juggled here. Uh, finding our way back to neutral. It's a grab. It's going to be the jab and yeah, there the back air. And that will be the first game wow. to Mang de la Mang. Yeah. Soup did a pretty good job of slowing down and trying to be patient on ledge, but ultimately getting caught up and Mang la Mang taking the first game. We'll see what Soup decides to keep the counter with. Yeah, so we're going to see our first, second game here starting out. Uh, sticking with Squirtle, just going to try to get some early damage here. But, uh, you know, Squirtle is, uh, you know, on the lighter end, definitely uh, susceptible to a, a lot of Roy shenanigans earlier on. Got to be careful with those uh, side Bs at the, sa at the ledge. And, um, yeah, definitely getting some, uh, yeah. some some damage here early is going to be key. But if he can get damage on the opposing end, Squirtle has a lot of tools that he can use to space out a little bit, similar to Ivysaur, and also get damage of in if he's not able to get punished. Uh, you saw earlier the water gun and whatnot, but uh, quickly moving to Ivysaur here to try to get the jump on him. Nice uh, grabbing it from the tech roll. Dead, e we were like really dead even percents there with the 82.2. Yeah, this really has been the story all set. It really just been a straight up even game across the board. But uh, we have these one of these off stage situations here where just one jab, even at the ledge, is still just being annoying. Like not even like setting up into a kill option, just like 
making it so much harder for Soup to recover. Okay, just we gotta wait for those. Uh, watch out for that side B there. Um, yeah. Yeah, just the, I think the key here is just keeping space, just not letting, because like the jabs have just been the difference maker here. Yeah. Soup's been able to get a lot more um, recoveries with the grapple there from Vine Whip and not getting a whole lot of punish out from Meng Lemang. So it's keeping him there. Okay. Get him there with yeah, the there it and a down, down air. air. I was waiting for that. Yeah, he's definitely been looking for it, so that Ivy Sword down air. Uh, just still so strong. Found and a like, perfect opportunity there. He was yeah. drifting Foo Far and caught him off stage. So hopefully he can build this lead a little bit more without losing his stock. Yeah, doing a really good job here just spacing with the uh, the Razor Leaves and just waiting for those opportunities to go and grab. But that Roy back air is going to be able to claim that stock and we're right back to Squirtle. Yep. We'll see if the, the nimble shell turtle can get something going and at least come there. It's all the water gun too far under, though. Yeah, definitely getting something going. Definitely doing a really good job of keeping Mangle and Mang off, uh, off stage. And definitely setting up some, uh, setting up a really good situation for Ivysaur, for sure. Yeah. Making every bit of that upbeat to uh, get through the stage to help with guarantee a safe Ooh. recovery and the point blank F smash. Good call out. What a call out. Right, Charizard out for the moment and it's not a good not Pokemon looking have. really yeah. good. This is not Already good at mid percent in a matter of seconds. Good grab and throw though. Yeah, we See, just... try for the F tilt. Oh wow. Okay. Just missed the ledge. That okay. Is very unfortunate considering how much of a lead they were getting on Charizard. Yeah. Still very doable for either side, but Soup's got to work with what he has. Yeah. I mean, even though Soup has, like, a lot of damage on, like, that was such a huge momentum shift because now you get to switch Pokemon, and now you get to sort of reset the tempo a little bit, and now you get to start doing your Squirtle stuff right here, which is what he's doing right now. Uh, just look, getting a lot of good damage off, but still, this is easily Roy kill percent, so Soup definitely has a lot to... Uh, is that a taunt? What? Was that a taunt? That totally was. It was like, wait a minute, that's There's not Roy. That's not Roy F tilt. Yeah, I was about to say, like, that was not a ledge op. Is, is taunt a ledge option now? Uh, the only taunt in the game that would be a ledge option is Luigi, Luigi yeah. down taunt, because it actually can do that. But uh, no, not the case here, so... You know, I, I, I try to keep my, my biases to myself, and I was going to make a comment of what, you know, ta a taunt usually follows, what usually follows a taunt, but, you know, in the, in the sense of keeping this game, okay, never mind. Wow. I was going to say, taunt to get bodied is a uh, is a somewhat true combo, depending on who you ask, but, uh, yeah. but uh, Mang Dela Mang able to uh, hang on to that game, and that's set. Yeah, Soup did what he could at the end there, trying to prolong the stock, but ultimately 140, mid-weight character, and you'll just die to swords, so... Um